Mech batteries are set up to 1000 cycles, at least on the paper. But how is it in the reality? When is the right time to replace just the battery? Or replace the whole mech? Let's find out. There are two places on the mech giving you this crucial information about your battery health status. It's in the system settings and system information. Let's take it easy and start with system settings. So go to Apple menu on top, open system settings and here on the left panel select battery. Next to the battery health, click on the eye icon. Here you can find out the battery condition and also maximum capacity. So you can easily find out the effectiveness of the battery and also compare the capacity to the new one. That's useful information. And you can also click on learn more and you will find more information about the battery from the Apple support page. I also recommend you to check my video about the battery where I show some real examples and recommendations how to properly take care of your MacBook battery. But now let's have a look at the battery cycles. We are starting the same way. So on top, click on the Apple icon and here on your keyboard hold the option key. You will notice that the first command will change into system information. So open that and right here you'll find a lot of information about your Mac. But what we are looking for now is on the power menu. So here you can find the cycle count, but what does it mean? Let's do a little math exercise. As I said in the beginning of the video, the Macs are set to withstand up to 1000 cycles, but a good quality battery is usually around 450-500 cycles, which will drop down the battery capacity towards 70%. For example, M1 MacBook Pro has a capacity of 6100 mAh. So if you get it to 70%, you are still over 4000, which is pretty good. But pushing it further to 1000 cycles creates quite a lot of stress to the battery. The capacity will drop down to around 30%, which is not enough to power any heavy consuming tasks. On my old Mac, if I turn on Final Cut on the battery, it will automatically shut down. And at the hot weather, it can turn off immediately as well, because it needs to power up the fans and the battery is not strong enough for that. But don't worry about it too much. 500 cycles is still quite a lot. If you're using your Mac daily, it will take you around 3 years to reach 500 cycles. And if you take a proper care for your battery and have a good charging routine, you can easily get it up to 5 years. What you should do right now is to check your battery status and then think of changing some of your using and charging routines. I give a lot of useful recommendations in this video. There you will find out how to prolong your MacBook battery life and how to take a proper care of it. Anyway, I hope I'll see you in that video or maybe in some other one. Thanks for watching.